here comes Javinko again, goes down under the challenge of Watson. Another free kick upcoming for Toronto FC. From a dangerous spot here in minute number 25. I'm wondering if Luis Da Silva is going to take this. He Wait. has a touch. The wall has five, looks like he'll be six. It's scary times when there's a foul in a dangerous spot because uh, there is some really skillful players in this league that can punish you. Cover your jewels and you want to get hit. That's our job. Now the Whitecaps clear their lines all of a sudden. It's shot and straight into the wall. Getting them to their positions, whether it's a forward or it's a winger out wide, you got to get them all organized and get them into spots. Dallas will build the wall. Chris Seitz will direct everyone to protect the right side. He'll cheat to the left. You have a lot of goal to cover. You need height, the closer you are to goal, I would probably get my big boys in there. You can hear Bill and me talking to his wall. Brian Rowe wants plenty of men on his wall. Seven right now. I mean, he's got three giants in there. They're really tall. Because in his mind, he's saying, OK, the wall, you got this side of the goal. I got this side. Now, if the, if the attacker can get it over, then that's fair game. Usually it's a mad dash because the ref, you know, he's going to blow his whistle eventually, whether you're ready or not. First, you, you want to get one guy looking back at the goalie. I look, I usually st step to my post. I look on the outside when I'm looking behind my post. I want to see my, 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 basically the last two guys on the wall on the outside of my post. Um, with the crowd and noise and everything, you usually can't hear them. When you're setting up the wall, you're trying to get as close to the ball as you can, and the ref's trying to push you back. The guy taking the free kicks yelling at everybody to, to take the step back, so um, you're just trying to get any advantage that you can. The lines, and you try to scrape it off with your foot and creep forward anyway. It's waiting for FC Dallas men to get their wall 10 yards back. Yeah, you got to do all these things, the little small tactics to try to help your team. Because you don't want to give up a goal because, because of this free kick that's coming up. What can they conjure here from this free kick? Sebastian Latou is there, Jack McInerney there as well. You, you try to make yourself as big as possible with no weak spots, no spaces. Four-man FC Dallas wall. You're telling the guys next to you, hey, you know, take it. You know, it, it's coming, but it's a good thing if it hits the wall, you know? It's Dempsey all the way. You know, that warrior mindset comes out, you know, hit me, and you know, like, take it. United to take this one, it's going to be dangerous. Yeah, but I hate it. <laughs> it's Maloney takes a shot! It's Valeri who takes it off the top of the wall, and that is that! A lot can go wrong in a wall, too. It doesn't stay strong. Kaká takes it, and it's deflected! I don't want to jump too high because it can go under you. And he singles play a You don't want to flinch or turn your head because the ball can go straight by. It's going to be Silva. Puts it inside. Go. You just got to stand there and take it. I mean, because if you don't and that guy, if the ball gets through to your spot, then it, it's on you. It's on to go. What a strike. If it gets through, that keeper's not happy. And, uh, and he deserves to be angry. 
you gotta be the guy who's, you know what, whatever, I'm in the wall, I'm gonna take it on the chin, I'm gonna take it in the face, wherever it, wherever it lands, but I'm gonna do what I have to do, sacrifice my body to help my goalkeeper and help this team. The two steps away, McInerney drives it. It usually doesn't hurt too bad, but I've seen some pretty bad ones. It's just a really split second and boom. Struck by that ferocious free kick. Shell back on his feet. Honestly, at those moments, you're just happy you blocked it and then the adrenaline takes over. Well, that's the worst. If it smacks you on the face, and next thing you know, it's in the back of the net. Even if you have to take it in the face, or somewhere even more painful than that. You do anything you can to, to block it. You just kamikaze it, honestly. <laughs> Just outside of the six yard box is Wando. Runs up the drive right into that wall. Wando's there again, deflected away again. There's an RSL player down. Oh, and that one's gone straight into the middle area. That's going to be sore for a couple of days. It's a little macho thing, getting in there, wanting to get hit. Blocked by the wall. Deflects off the wall. Dempsey. Can't break the wall. You feel good when you're, you're the wall and you block it for your goalie. You know, you did your job, your keeper's happy with you. Take it quickly and blocked by the wall. Blas Perez paying sharp attention as Papa took it, it's out for a corner. The guys in our wall do a great job. They're, they're willing to put their bodies on the line to, to cover that side of the goal. Juicy and Dwyer over it, Juicy blocked by the wall. You're more threatened by the guy who's going to score. The pain's temporary, you know, but that goal has lasting effects. 